Hi there guys, welcome back into another session, one hour into the European session here. Bit of a neutral market to start the day off, couple of moves yesterday, especially in altcoins work, but I think there were some nice moves to be had just to get the juices flowing for a couple of day trades yesterday. Um, but nice break up last week, wasn't there? Um, mentioned last week on the live that we had a little bit of consolidation under resistance going on. I was actually still holding some head short positions from those range highs, but mentioned on the last live session last Friday morning that it was looking it was looking a little bit damp. The bears weren't doing a good job. Supply was getting weakened, certainly on BTC um, and Sol. ETH still had quite a lot of supply, but it did follow BTC to the upside anyway. So well played everyone that was um, holding those longs from a little bit lower from the range lows. I think breakout traders, you were you were pretty lucky in the uh, the price action did look a little bit volatile around that JPOW speech didn't it uh some real whipsaws in there before we got any kind of uh move onwards so yeah let's go and have a look at some levels oasis new tour coming get in that's gonna be brilliant that's gonna be hard work getting tickets for that one though isn't it uh so yeah moved up yesterday a little bit of a crab day i do believe a little bit of sideways down um open interest a little bit high on btc so let's just go and have a look at a few key levels for the coming 24 hours top down look from here okay last chop zone okay so head shorts from this area which was if you just look left the value area low just sat under the value area low of this higher time frame range we've broke up we now need to try and find acceptance back here okay so really really nice easy levels to trade now okay you basically want to be looking at the 61k 62k levels which is just here that is now your value area low on the daily time frame kind of zone that you want to um, be looking to get a little bit of bid or risk on if you haven't already or if you're just looking to day trade this back up this is now a key zone that we need to hold as support on btc let's have a look at that on a four hour Great levels, as I say, I knew it was going to be like this this week after that breakup last week. Really, really nice, clean levels to trade now. Okay, so this is now looking at similar levels on the four hour. This is value area high of this previous range. You broke out. You now want to get some confluence in here with demand. Bid this area for a rotation back up. Any acceptance below here, this whole thing is just going to look like a deviation and you're more than likely going to rotate further down and we need to find even more demand what does that look like on the one hour really really nice here you go here's your value area high right back here okay so the head shorts did play out for a time okay head shorts did play out for a time we got hammered down there hammered down here but then really as mentioned on last week's live as you were just coming back up here the the shorts really were they weren't paying off in the end where they as supply got weakened into that jackson hole j pow speech um i missed all that action last week bit of volatility and then we just smashed up and did mention last week that if you were holding a head short position here it was more than likely that you were going to get stopped out but that's the way that's the way you know that's the way we trade ranges hope everyone's got some good long exposure spot or otherwise still but yeah hourly chart here we go one hour ema there yep just coming in at 62k as well here's your old value area high there and then we've got some order blocks lower and the uh, little bit of a meme trend line if we take a deeper cut into 60k so really nice classic ta levels to trade let's go and have a look at the order flow in the tidr console and have a look at what that is telling us here we are then guys tidr console if you're unfamiliar with this platform go and grab a link from below and get yourself a free trial don't forget the academy you've got some free stuff in there and our in-depth market analysis academy course also go and take a look at that if you have been struggling in the market get some really really good feedback uh, from the people who are already in there private access to the discord as well 
right let's jump in and have a look at some levels because i say i think it's really really nice trading to be had this week okay so what we've seen first off biggest order block from one of the biggest exchanges btc uh binance usdt okay already getting a slight bid here 41 in the one to two point five percent ratio okay bitstamp have got a bit of bid in here let's have a look at that they want that a little bit lower what's coinbase doing coinbase looking at 60k so if we do get a deeper cut that's going to take you back down to that order block that we saw classic tn trading view and back down to that trend line as well so that's looking pretty nice other exchanges quick look qcoin have got cap uh, a cap on the slight price there kraken not too much to say yeah i mean as always i would concentrate on your biggest markets that's going to be binance right here right now they've got some slight bidding if you want to get some day trades execute as close as you can to these order blocks for best risk reward that's what i'm looking at has to be said it does have to be said that we are lacking any major bid from perps you've got a few dynamic top levels here order blocks here um so these guys are you know vying for a little bit of a bid a little bit lower but in general the depth is lacking uh, here so what we'll do is we'll see how the day goes i think um open interest is still a little bit hot as we are lacking a little bit of demand here but as always european session not much um not much in the way of new data here in this european session i would give it a few hours keep an eye on that order block there um you know do we get another tickle down and then punch it up that's going to be a really really nice day trade that's certainly what i'd be looking for here okay guys so what we'll do is we'll do a live session in the u.s session okay just a little bit after the open of the u.s session join us there join all the socials links below i hope we have a brilliant week i think we could be in for a good week setting up to q3 q4 in the markets have a good one guys cheers i bet your margins are pretty nice and fat let's not talk about my margins by the way being nice and fat that's a nice shirt do they make it for men